It's a very, very strange rumor. And it's the kind of thing that when you magnify it over all these number of years, it's hard to really figure out. And I, what happened was, and I didn't really pay much attention to it at the time. I was, I believe, in the National Guard. I know I was in the National Guard, but I believe that's when it came out. Um, I gave away uh, uh, an Emmy for uh, best animated movie in 1967. In fact, I gave it away. I had just come back from Lackland Air Force Base, where, is where I did my initial military training. So I, I know it was 1967, and I gave it away to Gene Kelly. He was the producer, and Angel Cartwright was with me, and I had my head shaved because I'd just come out of basic training, and I was in my military uniform, and I gave out the Emmy. So everybody knew that I was in the service. I was a presenter. Then, um, all of a sudden, uh, I forget where, I was in service, and some people came up to me and showed me uh, an obituary. And it was not maybe on the front page. It says, actor killed in Vietnam. Just kind of a little random note. Jerry Mathers, star of Leave it to Beaver, has died in Vietnam. Other people saw it, like Tony Dow actually sent flowers to my parents' home. And um, Shelley Winters, and I'm not sure exactly what the chronology is on this, but she was very anti-war. And she was doing The Tonight Show. I'm not, some people say, well, she did The Tonight Show from this time to this time. But, uh, you know, but one of the shows she was on, she wanted to sing Bring the Boys Home. And she went on and said, you know, we're losing the flower of American youth and Jerry Mathers has been killed in Vietnam and I'm gonna sing this song, Bring the Boys Home. I don't know if she dedicated it or whatever. And at the time, I wasn't working as an actor. I didn't have the things I have now, which are a manager, a publicist, an agent, all those people that if that happened to me right now, it would immediately be quashed. And as I say, I read it, kind of thought of it as a joke and didn't really do anything about it. And then people would keep coming up to me and going, this is actually the strange part. I'd see people that I really knew, guys I'd been to high school with, but because we had gone our separate ways, it might be a, a year or two later and I'd see them on the street and they'd get a real funny look on their face and I'd they'll say, oh, hi, you know, whatever. And they'd say, hi, well, how you doing? I'd say, good, good, well, what are you doing? They'd say, well, you know, I'm doing this. Maybe I'm married, maybe I'm not. And they'd look at me and they'd go, you know, um, I read something about you, and you know, I thought, well, maybe something about Leave to Beaver or whatever, and they go, I read you're dead. You're not, are you? <laughs> <laughs> but so it, it just never got retracted. And even if it did, it, it wasn't, you know, a retraction is just a little one line. We made a mistake. He's alive. But it definitely did go out, but I don't, can't really pinpoint the exact dates of how those things happened. When Shelley Winters went on, I know when I did when I did the award show, I could tell you that date, but that's how people got the idea that I was in the military, but no, I was not killed.